In triangle PQR, the measure of Q is 90. So we can draw this off to the side here. We have P, Q, and R, and we have a 90. Next, they tell us that uh, QS is an altitude. So we have angle Q already, and we can just make up that S is like over here. And an altitude is always going to form a 90 with the side that it's intersecting. They also tell us that PQ is 12. And the length of PR is 13 greater than PQ. So that's what this whole hypotenuse. This whole hypotenuse is just going to be 25. And they want to know the value of QR over QS, which does involve our altitude, right? So what's nice is there are multiple ways to solve this, but there's going to be a big shortcut. And that is an altitude roll. So before we jump into the altitude roll, you know, obviously we want to solve for this third side here. And we can just use Pythagorean's theorem. So if I do uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, you just end up doing c squared minus the 12 squared, and then you take the square root. So we can just shortcut to this should be 25 squared minus 12 squared. And it is a not the nicest decimal, so I'm going to leave it like that. But our altitude rule now is going to be your QS, your altitude, is going to be equal to your two legs multiplied. So PQ times QR and then divided by the hypotenuse, which is just going to be 25. So what's nice is we can do a little bit of shortcuts here, right? So if they want QR over QS, let's do a little bit of math. We could cross multiply here and we could get 25 QS is equal to PQ uh, times QR. So our goal is QR is already on top. If we can get QS on the bottom, well, it's going to save us like a little bit of math in the future. So if I divide both sides by QS here, QS, QS gets rid of that, gets rid of that. And now I have QR over QS. I just have one final step. I want to divide both sides by PQ as well. PQ, PQ, that crosses off. And now I finally have it QR over QS, which is what we want is equal to 25 over PQ. So our final step 25 over PQ was 12. And it looks like our final answer here is going to be 